today, it's been a while, we're going to go through the trail, trail cameras and basically catch y'all up to speed on what's going on in real time since it's been a while. Um, first we're going to start off, we're going to go bow blind. I've been hunting there a lot. There will be a video out soon on what's happening, what's the reason for that. But the main one I'm going to go through today is that um, this right here. It doesn't show up, but um, it is the big deer, the uh, property record that we have, that I have on camera. And so to start off, we're going to go, this one should be the furthest back, which is probably, we're going to start off with a bang. Alright, here we go. So this bow blind, I've been hunting there recently, it's about, it's down near Riverside. Um, it's a new blind and feeder we just put in. There's a little split nine. Not bad. And so we go through and get some decent stuff. And this is November 12th, so about a month ago. And then you hit this right there. That is the property record. For sure, without a doubt. At least as, a, as I've been told. Ten pointer with giant G2s and even bigger G3s. His G3s are bigger than his G2s, which is kind of crazy to see. And so you get him coming through here, you just bike, and he's just all up in there during, uh, during November. He's up there at 9 p.m. Spike goes through there, and you know he really just made this his home for for a while. Broken off eight, and then boom, that's the best picture of him right there. But that is, without a doubt, the property record, biggest one we've seen so far. And so that's what I'm currently going after. His name is is Ghost. Uh, started calling him Ghost after he just showed up late, uh, or not late, but late season, uh, middle of November, just dropped in off the radar into my lap. And so, I mean, it's just been a wild hunt for him so far. Uh, that one could be him. It's a little hard to tell. Split nine. Okay, so that's all for that one. And then you go bow blind. Summer two. And so, obviously, I'm. I see him. Uh, I see him on the trail camera. Start hunting there, and you know, here's me there. And then he comes in. Look at this timing. Two hours after I leave the hunt because it's dark, he comes in. Just eating up all that corn they got left. But look at the symmetry and just how big of a deer he is. Big bodied, big antlers. What we're looking for. And. So now it is December 21st. I've been on him for, been hunting him for a month now. And you know, it's getting late in the season. It's getting close to end of the season, which I won't even really be able to hunt the last week of the season. But I hope I don't need to. So you got me coming through. And so he just gets all attached to this area. And for a while I was hunting here every time because that's where I'd seen him. I didn't see him anywhere else. And it 
it wasn't a mistake, but it he did eventually switch it up, so eventually I have to change it. That's all I can really say other than that. I'm just gonna be watching the video that I put out soon. And there's a bunch of hogs, that's a bad thing about this area is a bunch of hogs all through it. Whoa, eight. Yeah, going through. kind of he kind of disappears for a while she goes off radar Let me get rid of some of these hogs pictures there he is he comes running through late at night 2 a.m. I think that uh, that one might not be him but that's a decent eight <laughs> So yeah, he kind of just doesn't show up for a minute. There's way too many hog pictures in here. There's a, oh yeah, that's a weird one. I forgot about this one. This one is just the most narrow basket eight I've seen out here. That thing is just straight up vertical. And it's just an eight. It's, just, it's an eight, but he's giant, high rising antlers. So he comes through for a while, I think. And I don't know. I don't know. There might not be much more in this one of him. Or this trail camera at this time. But I did already, already go through this and make a little folder with just him in it. So that I can see all the pictures I have of him. Yeah, he comes through there. I think that was him late at night. But he's always been an odd one. He's been 1 p.m. There we go. That's definitely him. He's been 1 p.m., 2 a.m., you know, those sort of odd times. That's definitely him. He looks, it looks a little bit smaller there, but still fine. Still a giant eight, or giant ten, I mean. Property record. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I need to mark this one right here because this is a big deal right here. Yeah, that's a really big deal. I'll come back to that one in a second. Yeah, that's a giant deal. I'll explain in a second, but that just changed. That just changed a lot right there. That changed so much of what I just thought.
So that's pretty much for that one, but I'm gonna explain in a second what just happened. Yeah, okay, that's definitely, that's the right one. Uh, that's the right one, for sure. I, I'm gonna have to make a call real quick, because that's a big deal. Okay. Super. through these and get rid of all the hog pictures. It's just taking up too much storage. There's a bit, I think that's the narrow eight. I don't really know what that, yeah, well, it's not a 10. That's an odd one. That one, wait, yeah, that's him, that's him. Not saying this is yours, but this is what happens when the food is still on the Okay. Hey. You being nice? That's what I said. I told you. Alright. That was a big deal, that, that, which I just saw. And honestly, I might just explain it to y'all real quick. Once I get done with this, and I'll explain. the settings on this camera too like go every once every five minutes okay just eight big eight Oh my gosh, you see how many raccoons there were? One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I need to shoot some of these animals. So they're just eating all the corn. There's no eight again. There's the big one. Or, no, that's not the big one. That one's just an eight, but. Still a big deer. Okay, I'm gonna explain this soon as we get done with this one. Do some real quick. I'm gonna call somebody. Yo, 
Cole? Hey, what's up? You want to see something? Okay, I'll call you back then. I'll call you later. Yeah, you're good. I'll I'll call y'all back then. Yeah, I'll call you back later then. All right, all right. Bye. This one right here, this is the one that means so much. Okay. All right, so to explain it, to explain what happened, just break it down really quick. What happened with Ghost, that big deer, the Big Ten, is he, I, sh I shot at him, missed at him, um, at Bobon, where I've seen him. So that happened. He ditches the area. He completely leaves it. And I get, I go hunting up there next. I go hunting up there the next week. And I, um, I don't see him. I go hunting for the next couple weeks. I don't see him up there at the bow blind. I'm like, where'd he go? You know, I'm, I keep sitting there just hoping he comes back just one more time. And Eventually, somebody hunts at Janky up near Bowblind. It's just up the mountain a bit. And they set, they get a picture of two tens that are there. That, um, two tens that are there, that are consistently going there. And that's not the first time I saw them at Janky. My sister saw them at Janky before. So, you know, I'm not going to let them form a pattern of going there and me not shoot them. And so I set up a trail camera there. And I, um... I get this picture, I get this picture on uh, three days ago, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this looks like him so much, but he's missing, you know, two antlers, and so I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm calling people, asking for what they think about it, and just talking to people about what it is, and, you know, it looks broken off, it looks like he broke off his antlers. He's not, he's not as big anymore. And so I'm, you know, I'm kind of upset. I'm just like, dang, you know, it sucks. I'm still going to shoot him. I'm still going to go for him, but it sucks that he lost his antlers. You know, he's not as big as he was. Cause I mean, look at these G2s and G3s and he's a 10 point to begin with. So that's even crazier. And so I think he's a, I think he's now a, like a small 10 or like basically an eight cause he lost those two points. And so up until now, whenever I just saw that, which picture, whenever I just saw this picture, what this just showed me is that's not, that's not ghost. That's another deer. That's a completely different deer that, um, that I'm looking at. You know, I thought ghost broke off his antlers, but no, this is just a random deer that doesn't have doesn't have these two, his two antlers right here. So, I mean, we're, we're still in business, you know, this is, this big, big news and like, Ghost is still alive and still full, still got all the antlers. So, I mean, that's just a big deal right there alone. And so there's that. I mean, we're still going for Ghost then, like full throttle. I got, oh. I got, what, two weeks, maybe a little over a week since this is going to be my last week trip going up there, basically. It's either do or die right here. Do or die. Um, <clears throat> all right, now let's go to the next one. Okay, yeah, so this is just um, next to Bobline. So this was like, just trying to figure out 
I hadn't seen that Vopal in forever. I'm trying to figure out where he is, if he's even around here. And I don't get many pictures, but I do get this one of another 10, who's not as big as Ghost, but he's just an odd 10. He's got each antler is a different length, so his G2 over here is taller than his G2 over here. His 3s is taller than that. His 4, you can't really tell, but his brow tines are even off grown different lengths and so it's just like such a weird odd deer odd 10 but hey he comes there you got the narrow eight running through and then a little coal buck or a little six he comes running through and that's it from that one and then just to we do have some axes that come through and so i did want to i did want to just run through that and just see um <clears throat> just see if these guys are even if they're patternable because it's a pretty big pretty big trail and so once you go through some of the video i'm not going to go through all of it because each one's like 10 seconds so we'll just just go if there's anything big so that's a little cool buck and we gotta mess with that like a little six right there That one's, that one's a little fox or cat or something. Rabbit it? Yeah, a little rabbit. Doe, doe, axis. That's a decent doe. Um, if I get ghost or we're not going to be done with the season. I'm going for Axis or something. I haven't seen Clifford forever, so we're not going to mess with him. But um, the Axis for sure will go after because, I mean, they're so close to where our cabin is. That one's a little eight. A little eight. Turkey going through. Coyote or something. Fox. I've seen this one. Mm. Little six, like chasing some doe or something. I don't know. Doe. He's fired up. Little eight again. Yeah. Ooh, that was a big one. Big eight. How far, far apart were those? Twelve minutes. Dad comes back this way. Big buck follows him. Or follows her. One, two, three, four. Just big eight. <laughs> Little spike's gonna go watch. Axis again, two of them. Let's see where it is. Spike. Can't tell. Doe. Spike. This is all about the same time. I'm going to chill in here for a minute. He goes chasing. That's a big eight. Big eight. Low. Must be a little scrape there or something. A little rub. Ooh. One, two, three, maybe.
Cat Heavy. Big eight. That was a big eight. Not George, but. That's a big pig. Okay, so that's everything for that one. But yeah, I mean, that, whichever one it was right here, I think. game changer right there that's the biggest find we've had so far he's still alive we're still gonna go get him oh that's big news right there big news and then which we'll go through this just for the fun of it since that might be it. It's hard, to, it's hard to tell. I like the Tacticam, but I don't know how others do, but the ring is. I can't really tell anything, which kind of sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> so what? So there's the what is that? It's an eight point now. Yeah, so he's coming in there consistently, but that's not ghost. That might be him. It's hard to tell, though. So far away. I feel like it. I feel like it gets blurrier, blurrier around his antlers. Like nowhere else, everywhere else, it's clear, and then just blur right here. <sighs> yeah, that's. Yeah, that's not a ghost. I don't know. It's like his son like lost some antlers or something. This one is coming to it so often, it's weird. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. Oh, he comes there so often. That might be him, that might be Ghost. It's hard to tell. It looks like he's one here, for sure, and then it looks like there's one back there. It's hard to tell though. I'm not gonna say anything for sure. It 
should also be nice because I have a cell cam out of line, so I can just know if he's there. I can get dinged. I think that has to be him. Um, maybe not. Oh, man, it's hard. That's the newest one. 21st. So that was 16 minutes ago. He's, so basically he's there right now, or could be there right now. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm not going to say anything for sure, but it's close enough where it's close enough to where I'm like we're going for it we're going to figure it out oh, oh. or anything, put them in the chat. Otherwise, I think that'll be everything. So I don't... I mean, that's... Who's out there? Just gotta go get him now. Yeah, it'll be my last chance, so... Do or die. <laughs> that's how I like it, though. So, thank you for watching.